In today's video, I'm going to go over my Tomb Raider collection as it is right now. Hey guys, I'm Evil 8 Rich, and if we're just meeting, it is my passion to help you guys build and design a game room on a budget. Today what I want to do is I just want to show you where my Tomb Raider collection is now. Uh, obviously, if you watch my other videos, you've seen the stuff in the background, and I've done individual videos on each, but I just thought I'd go and show you where it is now and have some kind of idea, some of the plans I have for the future. All right, so first I got to flip the camera around, and I, unfortunately I got to turn the mic around as well, so bear with me for a second, and let me get that done, and we'll go in and check it out. Okay, so let's turn the camera around first, and as you can see it off of the distance there, Gotta turn this mic around, so I apologize for the noise. You probably can hear me better now. That's why I want to get that computer, guys, so I can do all this editing. Okay, so let's head on into the room. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna start on the top left here, and as you can see right there, that is a Tomb Raider. <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> my voice. It's a Tomb Raider lunch pail, and. Uh, it's pretty cool because it has Angelina Jolie's image from the first movie that she was in, and it's really nice. It's got some images on the side and all kinds of stuff. It was turning a little bit. He got some images on the side there. Next to that, we have the doll or action figure, whatever you want to call it, from that. And you see that she's wearing the same stuff. And over here to the right of that, is the, uh, actually be on her left, actually. It's the uh, thermos for that. Pretty cool. Has some images on it as well. Like I said, I've done videos on this stuff. If you want to see those, you can watch those. Okay, so let's go down to the next shelf. <clears throat> we have one of my favorites is this vintage one where she's actually hanging on the side here. I think it's called uh, something with a Yeti. There's a Yeti down there. Uh, but I don't remember exactly what the name of it is. But that's uh, her hanging off there, rappelling down with her shotgun in her hand there, as you can see. And the Yeti right down here. And it looks like a dead body of some sort right there. I apologize for the squeaky floor. I have wood floors. In the middle here, we have one from, uh, I'm pretty sure that's Anniversary. Right there. Or Legends, I think it is. I think that's Legends. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. And that's a really cool, really cool figure figure there. Really, I think that's like 12 inches tall. It's pretty tall. Right there. Over to the right of that is basically that came with that Yeti display. And I just liked it, so I just kind of used it. And it's pretty nice. And some of the weapons that came with her. Shotgun and stuff. Next shelf down. This is something I just put on here today. I bought the other day. It's one of those little figures. I don't know exactly what you call them. I guess they go with the games. But that's from the newer Tomb Raider. So hopefully you can see that. Next to that is Laura cropped uh, the Tomb Raider um, with uh, Angelina Jolie. And this is pretty cool because it actually has the Jeep from the movie and some motorcycle. I'm not sure if the motorcycle was in there. I don't remember that. But the Jeep, as you can see, it's sealed. It's uh, Hot Wheels. So that's pretty cool. And next, next to that... I have a um, memory card that I got from the thrift store my buddy owns. So we can get over here where you can see it better. And it's sealed, as you can see, completely. And this image on the back. So that's pretty cool, and that's going to stay in there like that. I think that's for a PlayStation memory card. And below that is a player's guide for uh, Revo last, last Revolution. And down there is empty. So I have room to grow. All right, next shelf. Got a bunch of games here. Here's the Last Revolution Dreamcast version game right there. There's Anniversary for uh, Wii. There's, uh, looks like Chronicles for the PlayStation, or Dreamcast, excuse me. And now we have the originals, the PlayStation uh, games. These are all three PlayStation games. This is the Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider. The second Tomb Raider and the third Tomb Raider. This figure right here is actually one that goes with the Yeti set, but I bought it individually, so I'll probably hang it somewhere and do something cool with it. Right here is a Tomb Raider game. I don't actually have the that system, but uh, I thought it was a cool. I just want to have the game. Here's some of the bats and stuff that came with this 
crazy looking figure here, which was actually, from what I understand, this was actually a different mold of some other doll. They just kind of threw it together for Laura Croft, and it's pretty hideous. And some of the guns that came with her. Here's some of the guns that came with her right here. Next shelf down, we have more games, Xbox games. It's Legends right there, as it says on there. And this here is the Area 51. This is pretty cool. I got this for a really good price. Got that at the thrift store. Did a video on that, too. This is there, a little cross. And here's Underground. That's Underground right there. Okay, and down below, we have some of the movies. This is the first movie with Angelina Jolie. Second movie, Angelina Jolie. And then third movie, with Alyssa, Alyssa Vikander. And over here, we got some of the newer games. That's Rise of the Tomb Raider there. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider there. Okay, now let's move over to the right here. I'm going to show you some of the pictures I had. Okay, this is uh, Angelina Jolie from the first movie, as you can see. Right there. It has a release date. It says in, th in theaters June 15th. And over here is the second movie. Sorry about the glare, but they are glass, so that you're going to get that. That one says July 25th. Here in the middle is Alyssa Vikander. It's a pretty big portrait. I'm going to go all the way down here so you can see it. It's from the, her, from the last movie, obviously. Sorry about the glare, like I said, but it is, it is in glass. And next to that is a signed one from her from the movie. Try to cut the glare down here. Sorry, guys. If you haven't seen it, that's a scene where she finds her dad's papers and stuff. Here's the movie poster for that movie. There you go. This is Tomb Raider, March 16th. And here's another image of her from the same movie, shooting the bow and arrow. So that's where I'm at right now. I have room down on the bottom, and I have room on the top. As you can see, I have an image that's going to go across there, but I have to, I have to make a special... Uh, uh, it's, it's like almost a canvas, so I have to make that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about getting that up there. It will look really nice. I've had it taped up there temporarily, but I need to get it up there permanently so it will look really good. But here's uh, an overview of this stuff. There we go. So let me uh, turn this camera around real quick so I can speak to you guys. And that is where we're at at the moment. Let's turn this around. Apologize for the noise. There we go. Hope that wasn't too bad in your ears. Like I said, I got to get the editor. I got to get that computer so I can cut all this stuff out. But it is what it is. Got to get the videos up, right? So hopefully you like that. I mean, I have a lot of stuff I want to put on here. Like I said, I have that image. Uh, I want to put on the top. I want to put some ivy around this. I want to put some sh shelves down below. Um, I got to really stop looking at that screen. <laughs> Look right here. I got. I want to put some sh shelves over here down below and probably put some stuff down there. I did want to get some of these glass cases that they sell at Ikea, like I have downstairs, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. So, like I said last week, the room keeps evolving, keeps changing. It's just, that's what, that's the way it goes. That's the coolest thing is it just keeps moving along and, uh, things just keep moving around. Okay, guys. So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully uh, the mic moving around wasn't too bad. I apologize for that again. And um, even though this camera is small, it's kind of heavy after a while holding out like this. But hopefully everything, uh, you can hear me good and uh, it wasn't too bad. All right, guys. So if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I will see you guys next time. Well, I'll probably be in this room. Maybe not. Who knows? But I'll see you next time. Keep in mind, as I always say every week, if you're not breaking the control, you're not playing hard enough. Bye.